Hello friends, welcome once again to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session in Azure, we'll see how to configure self-service sign-up user flow for your application within Azure Active Directory. So let's get started. Now before I show you the configuration steps, let me just take a moment touching upon identities within Azure Active Directory. Now it can be broadly categorized into two. You have internal identities. Now these are the users which are part of your organization and you have external identities. Now these typically are the contractor or the end customer to which you might have to collaborate with or even give access to the application. Now one option of giving access to the application is that for these external users, you create a guest account within your own Azure Active Directory. Or optionally, there's a better way. You can create a self-service sign-up user flow within Azure Active Directory through which they can bring their own credential. They can have maybe a Microsoft account, a Google account, or even a Facebook account that they can utilize. Or you can even generate a one-time passcode and give access to these external users. So let me show you how the configuration steps looks like on Azure portal. All right, I'm logged into the Azure portal with global admin credentials. So with that, let me go to Azure Active Directory. And under Manage, I have uh, external identities. And if you see under Self-Service Signup, I have the User Flow button. Now, if I go and expand that, the new User Flow button is not visible for me. Reason being that, I have to enable that. So for that, I'm going to go to external collaboration settings. And if I scroll down, you'll see enable guest self-service signup via user flow is right now under no state. So I'm going to go and select yes and click on save. With that changed successfully. Now let's go to the user flow and I'm going to create a new user flow for the external users. So it, the first step is to create a name or give a name for the user flow. I'm going to name this IT Simplified App. And uh, under the identity provider, by default, it is Azure Active Directory. I'm also going to pick Microsoft account. You can also use some social media services such as Facebook or even Google. But for this example, I'm going to pick Microsoft account. And under user attributes, you can specify which attributes the user should be signing up with. Now, by default, you'll see that you have five, but if you go and uh, select more, it also gives you some more options here. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to pick uh, first name, last name. I'm also going to pick, say, city, country from where they are signing up. And email address is selected by default. And actually, let's also pick the province as well as the postal code for that. And I'm going to pick OK. And let's create this flow. So the user flow was created successfully. If I want to go and see the selection that I made, I can go and expand this. And under identity provider, I have both of them. I have Azure Active Directory as well as my Microsoft account. And under the user attributes, I have five, the one that I have selected. Now I can also customize the page layout. So if I go and expand the page layout, you can specify which attribute should be there at the top, right? So say, for example, if I want given a name at the top, I can always move it up, right? I can also make surname as the second attribute and then email address, city, country, and so on and so forth. And uh, I can click on the save button. And just want to point out here, a uh, user needs to only provide this attribute for the first time when they're signing up for the application. When they're doing it for the second time, they won't need any attributes to be added. They just need to sign up with their email and the password and that's it. And now if you want to give access to the application, you can go and click on the application tab and add the application. And uh, when the users now they are trying to access this application, they will go through this flow and they can bring that external identity. In this case, we have selected the Microsoft account. Hopefully you found this video useful on self-service sign of user flow. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.